Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can update WooCommerce order status in Google Sheets automatically. Now suppose you have a sheet with WooCommerce backup or WooCommerce orders backup with you. Now what will happen whenever you are updating an order in WooCommerce, the order will automatically update in Google Sheets too. Now why would you need this automation? Suppose you have two wings. First one is accounts, second one is inventory. Now you do not want inventory people to access your WooCommerce account. So what will happen? Any person from accounts will update your WooCommerce and any person if want to view a from the inventory section about the order update, he can view in Google Sheets because they have the access to Google Sheets. Now what is the you know advantage? You do not have to uh, share your WooCommerce password to your inventory section and inventory section can know about the order update through Google Sheets. Now to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service Pabli Connect, which will help us connect WooCommerce and Google Sheets together. Now if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are now on our screen. So what you have to do, you have to go to the address bar, type in P-A-B-B-L-Y pebbly.com slash connect and as soon as you will type that and press enter you will be redirected to this beautiful web page now here you have two options either you can sign in or you can sign up now if you already have an account you can sign in if you are not having an account you have to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free and it will also give you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you so let's just go for sign in because i already have my account here and here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to choose Pabli Connect Access Now. And now you can see I will have a new window here where I will have all my automations here. You can see these are all my workflows. Now we are going to create a new workflow. So now we are going to give our workflow a name. So I'm just going to name it WooCommerce to Google Sheets. Okay. Now, as soon as we will click on create, you can see here we have two windows. First one is trigger, second one is action. Trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. Action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this, okay? So what is our trigger? Our trigger would be WooCommerce. So we are just going to select WooCommerce. And now here what is happening? We are updating our order. So we will just go for order updated and here you can see we have a webhook URL. Now what is this webhook URL? Now webhook URL is the URL which will help us connect our WooCommerce account to our Pebbly Connect account so that whenever an order will be updated, the response will be captured into our Pebbly Connect account. Like here you can see it is waiting for webhook response. So how you are going to connect it? Just follow these uh, uh, instructions. And uh, just follow these instructions in your WooCommerce account and uh, connect your WooCommerce to your Pebbly Connect account. So let's just copy this. I am just going to, uh, you know, do this. I am not reading this. You can read this later on. So just go to settings. <clears throat> and after going to settings, you will find the option for advanced. Then go to advanced. After going to advanced, you will have an option for webhooks. And now here you have an option for add new webhook. So click on add webhook. And here you can give it the name. So I am giving the name of this webhook to WooCommerce to Google Sheets. Status will be active. Now here what we are going to select here it is written order updated. So we are going to select order updated. Order updated. Okay. Now in delivery URL you have to paste this webhook url from pebbly connect so just go and paste it and click on save webhook so by doing this we have successfully connected our webhook sorry <laughs> successfully connected our pebbly connect account to our woocommerce account through our uh, webhook url now what we are going to do here you will see it, is, it has given uh, us a webhook response by the name webhook id 542 what we want to do is we want the response for the updated order so we will just recapture webhook response and here we will go back here we will click on orders and here you can see i have a few orders harsha yadav harsha yadav harsha yadav harsha yadav i have many orders by the name harsha yadav but the order id is different in every field 
एंड हेयर दिस इज माई गूगल शीट सो हेयर द ऑर्डर आई डी इज फाइव फोर नाइन नाइन फोर एंड इट इज रिटर्न ऑन होल्ड हर्षा यादव सो वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज दिस फाइव फोर नाइन नाइन फोर वेट अ मिनट लेट मी जस्ट चेंज इट टू प्रोसेसिंग फर्स्ट ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर फाइव फोर नाइन नाइन फोर इज प्रोसेसिंग हर्षा यादव एंड दिस इज द मोबाइल नंबर नाउ वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज इट्स order to on hold from processing so let me go here and change status to on hold apply now as soon as i will click on change status to on hold and apply you will see that the order has been on hold now okay and here in our google sheet it is still processing now we want to change this processing to on hold and now what we are going to do you can see here it is waiting for the webhook response in a few seconds the response will come and we will have the response where we will have harsha yadav and the status will be on hold so this is harsha yadav and let me see where is the status uh 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 here is the status on hold okay now <clears throat> what we are going to do we are going to go for our second step where we are going to select google sheets and now here how will the system know that in which column do we want to make changes and which uh, in which id do we want to make changes so for that for first what we have to do first we have to look up the spreadsheets rows so that it can look up all the rows of the spreadsheet and take out the data which is necessary so i'll just go for add new connection connect with google sheets and here i have my google sheets and ashirai account and i'll just click on continue and you have to give the authorization to the pebbly connect account and uh, remember your data is absolutely safe with pebbly connect pebbly connect does not take any chances with your data now what we have to do we have to select the sheet so the sheet name is woocommerce order status change so let's just copy this from here and let's just paste it here so this is the sheet i am going to select my sheet woocommerce order status change so now what i have to do i have to put up my another lookup column but before i do that let me just go here and change this so that you do not get confused this is status okay this is order status so let me just change it order status and now it is order status processing on hold on hold on hold okay and we are going to change this processing to on hold now what i am going to do i am just going to look up column so the look up column is the column where we want to uh, you know look our when we want our system to look for the data so we are uh, you know we are looking for the data in our column a because we want to change the order status based on the order id so we are going to put in column a here so let's just put column a and here the look up value so the look up value is the order id which we are going to get from column a and we are going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let me take the data from <clears throat> this window here from this window here and it will let me map the data here in this window okay so i'm just going to map in my order id and now i have successfully mapped in my order id now i will click on save and send test request and you can see here it is written done one and here i have all the information of the customer or i should say of the order which i am going to now what we are going to do we are successfully looking up in our google sheets or the system is successfully now looking in the google sheets now it will try to update or pebbly connect will update the Google Sheets. So what we are going to do? We are going to choose Google Sheets, and here we are going to choose Update Row and Connect. Now I am not going to connect it again because I have already connected it. So I'll just click on Save, and here again I am going to select the exact same sheet, which is this. So let me just copy this again and paste it here, and this is my sheet. 
Now it is asking me for the row index. So what is row index? Row index is the row where our data is. And we our data is in second row. So we are going to map in the row index and row index is this one. Response result 0, row index 2. Okay. So we are just going to go here and map in our row index. So row index is this. We do not want to put any order ID here and our order status will be on hold. So here it is on hold. And we do not want to put in first name, last name, email or mobile number. So we are just going to click on save and send a test request. And as soon as I will do that, you can see here. And here in my sheet, my processing status has been changed to on hold. So friends, this is how you can connect your WooCommerce to your Google Sheets so that whenever a new order will be updated in your WooCommerce store, it will automatically be updated in your Google Sheets and a new row will be updated. Or I should say a... Uh, Existing an existing row will be updated, not a new row. It was my mistake. Sorry for that. An existing row will be updated whenever a WooCommerce order will be updated. Now, if you want to clone this automation, you can just go into my description box and clone this beautiful automation into your account. But for that, you need to have an account. And for that, you need to go and sign up. Signing up is absolutely free. And we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our site. So what are you waiting for? Go and sign up now. Hasta la vista. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to add it in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future. And I will, you know, suggest you to take this as quickly as possible, which will ease your task, save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts. Thank you.